In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make animated GIFs in Photoshop from videos or a sequence of still images. The first thing I want to do is to preview the video I would like to turn into an animated GIF. Here's a few seconds of some friends jumping in the water. Okay, we'll stop that. And so now I can either drag the video into Photoshop or go to File, Open and Navigate to where the video is. I'm going to drag the clip into Photoshop. And as soon as I drop the video clip into Photoshop, you see that in the layers panel, it created a video group. And also down here at the bottom, you see that Photoshop created a timeline for the video clip. Now, if you don't see that timeline come up and you can come up here to window timeline, and there it is. Now would be a good time to check to see how large your file is. You can do this by coming up here to image, image size. You can have a GIF that could be any size, but the larger the dimensions, the bigger the file size. So here's where you can resize it. GIFs on Twitter or Facebook are usually a lot smaller. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to percent and put in 50%. And you can see up here the dimensions, it's 960 pixels by 640 pixels. So a lot smaller in the file size went to 1.48 megabytes. It was 5.93 megabytes. We'll go with this size and say, okay. It says transforming a video layer requires converting it to a smart object layer. We're going to do that, say convert. And I'm going to double click on the hand tool to bring the video up to the screen size. And now we need to trim the video and save it as an animated GIF. So now in the timeline, I'm gonna come down here and put my cursor on the playhead and kind of scrub through where I want this video to start. And I think that should be good right there. And I want to trim this video. I'm gonna click down here on the front of the clip and drag this over till it snaps to the playhead and let go. And now I wanna move my playhead a little bit further, somewhere right about there. And I'm gonna click at the opposite end of the clip and drag my playhead over. And now I'm going to click the play button to see my results. And I got them jumping and right before the water, it stops. Once you hit the play button, if you don't see it continuously loop, you can come over here to the playback options and make sure loop playback is checked. So there's my preview of how it looks. So now we need to export our GIF file. You come up here to File, Export, and you Save for Web Legacy, and you get this dialog box here. Make sure that GIF is selected up here at the top. Most of these default values are going to be okay. Colors 256. You don't need transparency. Uncheck that. Make sure Convert to sRGB is checked. Here's the size that we had already set it to earlier. Quality, we can leave it there at bicubic and just make sure that animation looping options says forever. You can play it again right here. There's what our GIF animation looks like. And you can just press save and save it to your computer. I had already done this, but let's save it there. And I can bring up a web browser and just bring it in there and you can see it play. So that is a GIF from a video clip. Pretty easy, huh? Hey, if you're getting value out of this so far, hit that like button. So now I want to show you how to create an animated GIF from several still images. I'm using seven images from a model posing from a shoot. And sometimes it's good to know already where you're going to share your GIFs to. I decided I wanted to post these to Instagram. So I had cropped all my images to a one-to-one -one aspect ratio and set the width and height to 1080 by 1080. So now I need to bring these seven images into Photoshop. So if I come up here to File and down to Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And I'm going to navigate to where my images are and select them all and say Open. And if you need to, you can check this box here that says Attempt to Automatically Align Source Images. So if you need to, that will help the animated GIF play smoothly. And I'm gonna say okay. And here's the seven images that Photoshop brought in as layers. And we need to show the timeline. So we're going to come to window and click on timeline. And so now you see the timeline at the bottom of the screen. Next, we need to make sure that create frame animation is selected, click on it. And now Photoshop has created the first frame in our timeline. And now to get the rest of the frames into the timeline, come over to this flyout menu and click on make frames from layers. 
And down here at the bottom, make sure that forever is checked because we want our sequence of images to keep on displaying one after another. Now I'm going to select the first frame, hold down shift and click on the last frame to select all the frames. And I want to set the time delay of all these frames. So just to show you, if I say no delay and click the play button, it goes rather quickly. I'm going to select them all again and choose another time, say 0.5, press my play button and say one second, press play again. Okay, let's go with one second. I'm gonna save my Photoshop file and it's gonna save it as a PSD file. And just so I have it saved. And now I wanna export my sequence of still images as a GIF. So I'm gonna come up here to file, export, save for web legacy. And just like in the previous example, using the video, I wanna make sure that GIF is checked. Colors are 256. I don't need transparency. Convert to sRGB should be checked. Here's the size for Instagram. It's gonna be a 1080 by 1080 square, one to one aspect ratio. And again, I'm making sure that the animation looping options is set to forever. I can scale this down a little bit. Press play just to see it. Okay, and now I can click save and save it out to my computer. I'm just gonna bring it over into a web browser like Safari to show you it. If you got value out of this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. And remember, it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching.